So we'll solve some equations involving algebraic fractions in this video. We'll just use the ordinary rules for manipulating equations that we can apply a mathematical operation to each side of the equation, remembering if we apply it to the left-hand side, we must also apply it to the right-hand side, and vice versa, and also use what we know about uh, simplifying and using algebraic fractions along the way. So let's just do some examples. In the first one, um, it's not uh, that difficult. The only thing in an algebraic fraction is something with a just a number in the denominator. Really, our approach for all of these is just going to be to multiply the equation through by anything that's in the denominators here. Okay, so here three is in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply the left-hand side of the equation by three, and I just the most important thing to know here is we've got to do it to every single term. Okay, so it's like I'm doing three times the whole of the left-hand side. I'm not going to spell this out every time. Uh, and 3 times the right hand side. Okay, so we do 3 times 7, which is 21, 3 times 2x over 3, which is just 2x. Uh, that's why we'd multiply by 3 to get rid of that denominator there. And 3 times 17 is 51. So uh, rearranging this gives 21 minus 51 is minus 30 equals 2x. So that's minus 15 equals x. Uh, so maybe we should write that as x equals minus 15. And as with all equations, we could plug that into the uh, original equation and check that it's worked. I won't do that with all the examples here, but let's do it with this one. So we get 7 uh, minus 2 times minus 15 over 3. Uh, so 2 times minus 15 is minus 30, divided by 3 is minus 10, and we've got minus that, so it's 7 plus 10 is 17, and that works. Okay, so let's look at some uh, progressively trickier examples. This one, we've got uh, an x in the uh, denominator in two different fractions. So if we multiply left and right-hand side by x, well, we get 32 uh, for this one plus 12x. That's the left-hand side multiplied by x equals 21. Clears the x's in all the uh, denominators there. So we get 12x equals uh, 21 minus 32, which is minus 11, so 12x is minus 11, and x is minus 11 over 12, and we'll leave the answer like that. I tend to prefer to leave answers as fractions rather than trying to put them into decimals, which is often quite an awkward thing to do anyway. So that's the final answer there. Okay, getting a little bit harder then. i um, have got two different things in denominators here in this equation, so I'm going to multiply the equation through by each of them. Let's start by multiplying through by 2x minus 1. Um, to clear the denominator on the left hand side, then we get 3 equals 7 times 2x minus 1, all divided by 4x minus 3. And now this is the denominator we've got left, 4x minus 3, so let's multiply both sides of the equation by that to give 3 times 4x minus 3 equals 7 times 2x plus 1. Now, in this very particular case uh, here, where we've just got two fractions, one thing over another um, here, what we've ended up doing is sort of that one is multiplied by the, the 4x minus 3 is multiplied by the 3 and the 2x minus 1 is multiplied by the 7. Some people write this sort of thing down and say, okay, well, I've just got that times that equals that times that. Mm -hmm. If it's just this situation, there's nothing else, um, then that's fine. If you've got another thing here like a plus 2, you've got to be really careful. But just for something exactly like that, you could, you could apply that shortcut. Um, so we get to here either way, and then we multiply out the left-hand side, so we get 12x minus 9, multiply the right-hand side, 14x plus 7, collect all the x's on one side, so I'll subtract 12x from each side to give 2x, and I subtract 7 from each side to give minus 16, so 2x is minus 16, so that means that x is equal to minus 8. Just looking at this, you might think this is actually a simpler example, but it's, it's complicated in a, in a slightly different way. So let's see what happens. Um, if we multiply the by, by the x uh, in the denominator here, multiply the left-hand side and the right-hand side, so we get x times the left-hand side, x minus 4, is equal to 12. And now if we multiply this out, we get x squared minus 4x minus 12, uh, equals zero, just moving the 12 to the left-hand side here. And the reason I've done that is because we can see what we've ended up with as a quadratic equation. So the algebraic fractions bit is reasonably easy here, uh, but what we've ended up with is a quadratic equation. Um, and so we need to solve that using the ordinary methods for solving quadratics. And uh, here, uh, this one factorizes as x minus 6 times uh, x plus 2 equals zero. So that means that x equals 6 or x equals uh, minus 2. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about solve, factorizing and solving quadratics in this video, um, but uh, you can look up uh, other videos on that if you need to. Okay, some more examples then. So we've got 1 over x 
minus 1 over x minus 4 equals 1. So again, two different denominators to deal with here. So let's multiply the whole thing through by x first. And that will give us 1 minus, the multiplying this by x gives us just x over x minus 4 uh, equals x. Be careful to remember to multiply the right-hand side by x here as well. It's easy to forget when you're thinking about the fractions. Uh, and then we multiply everything through by x minus 4. So we've got 1 times x minus 4 minus x. And on this side, we've got uh, x there times x minus 4. So we've multiplied it all through by x minus 4. Again, if there was something more complicated in the bracket here, this had been like x plus 2, you'd have needed to be make sure you put your brackets in there to deal with this minus, just because it's just x here, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, so on this side we've got x minus x, so they cancel out. So we've got minus 4 equals x squared minus 4x. And again, we've got a quadratic equation. 0 equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. And again, this one uh, factorizes nicely, so we've got uh, this side factorizes as x minus 2 squared, so the only uh, value of x that works here is uh, x equals 2. And like with all of them, if we wanted to, we could substitute this back into the original equation um, and check that it works. So uh, let's do that just for, uh, for this one. So we'd get 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 minus 4 equals 1, and that's a half minus and 2 minus 4 is minus 2, so that's minus minus a half, so that's plus a half equals 1. And so that's correct. Um, we found the solution to that equation. Okay, here's another one. Um, this is really just about being careful with uh, putting things in brackets. So um, x plus 6 equals 4 over x minus 2. We're going to multiply both sides by x minus 2. So that means we've got to multiply the whole of the left-hand side by x minus 2. That's all of x plus 6. So we're going to write x plus 6 times x minus 2 equals 4. Um, you could do them term by term if you wanted to actually, so you could say you know, x times uh, x minus 2 uh, plus 6 times x minus 2 uh, equals 4, that would be exactly the same thing, that's exactly what we do really when we multiply out these brackets. Um, so, so when we multiply out the brackets here now we get essentially x times x minus 2, so we do uh, x squared minus 2x, and we do also do 6 times x minus 2, so plus 6x minus 12 uh, equals 4. And again, quadratic equation, so we've got x squared plus 2x, uh, minus 2x plus 6x, so that's plus 4x, and minus 12 uh, minus 4 gives us minus 16 equals 0. So the quadratic equation is now in its standard form. And now this one doesn't factorize nicely, so we're going to have to use the uh, quadratic formula, or you could complete the square if you know how to do that, but I'm going to use the quadratic formula here. Uh, again, I'm not going to explain it, but look up the video on that if you need to. Um, so we've got x equals minus b, which is minus 4, plus or minus the square root of 4 squared, minus 4ac, so minus 4 times 1 times minus 16, so that gives us plus 64, all divided by 2a, so that's minus 4, plus or minus the square root of 80, uh, all divided by 2. And depending if the question asks you to leave this as a third or to you know round it off, you would do one of two different things here. So if you want it as a third here, I would divide this all through by 2, so we'd get minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 80 over 2. The square root of 80 over 2 um, is equal to the square root of uh, 80 over 4 with the 4 inside the square root. Again, look up the videos on thirds if you don't know what I'm doing here. Um, so that would be minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 20, um, or if we just wanted that uh, number as a number we could round off to uh, two decimal places or something, and we could just take that um, uh, expression here and type it into the calculator, so we could do minus 4 plus the square root of 80 uh, divided by uh, 2, and um, again the calculator is given 2 root 5 here, whereas I've got root 20, so if you wanted this surge in its uh, simplest form actually we would uh, take out the factor of the square factor of four there, um, and write that as minus two plus or minus uh, two root five. Um, but here, if we just round it off, say to two decimal places, that would give us two point four seven uh, for that first answer, and the other one would be minus four minus uh, the square root of eighty, uh, all divided by two, and that would give us minus six point four seven as the two possible. Uh, different answers to the quadratic equation. Sorry, that was um, 
was doing that a little bit off the camera there, but uh, there are the two answers, and there is um, there is the other third form there, minus 2, plus or minus 2 root 5. Okay, last example then, um, quite similar to some of the, the previous ones, really. Um, so we're going to multiply everything through by x plus 1 and by x plus 3. So actually, let's try and do it all in one go this time, rather than doing it in two different steps. So multiplying it through by x plus 1 and by x plus 3, this fraction, the x plus 1 cancels, and we get just x plus 3. This fraction, the x plus 3 cancels, and we get just x plus 1. And we've multiplied the right hand side by x plus 1, x plus 3 as well. So here we get 2x plus 4 equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. So we've got 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 1. Again, this one doesn't factorize, so let's use the formula and say that. Um, uh, x equals minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4ac, so plus 4 all over 2, which gives us minus 2 plus or minus uh, the square root of 8 over 2. Um, 8 you can write as 2 times the square root of 2, so actually uh, we can cancel the 2 top and bottom here, and we've got minus 1 plus or minus. Uh, the square root of 2, and if you wanted to get that to two decimal places, you would just put minus 1 plus root 2 in the calculator, and minus 1 minus root 2 in the calculator, and round it off to whatever uh, degree of accuracy you want. So, uh, that's that. We've solved lots of different types of equations involving algebraic uh, fractions.